Good morning. The time is 7.49. I was supposed to be here at 7.30. I'm just walking in about a good nine minutes ago. So now I'm trying to like scramble, get everything together. I came in, turned on all my lights. Now I'm about to put my slide on and get down to the cafeteria. I have no idea um, what time I'm supposed to be down there. But you know, if it ain't one thing, it's another, okay? So from traffic to the car line outside being wrapped around the parking lot, I'm just praying that the rest of the day does not resemble the time we've had this morning. But it's the first day of school! So my hope is that I can take you guys along with me throughout this first day um and just kind of share with you how i went my thoughts you know all of the great stuff that a first day of school video brings you um so if you are new here welcome i'm miss frederick with pretty bossy educator and i am a eighth grade ela teacher in the state of florida um so yeah the time has come and i'm excited i hope my kids enjoy my room um, my first day is filled with lots of games and activities and things like that. I actually don't start going over like actual expectations and things like that towards the end of the week. And um, we spend the beginning half of the week building like classroom community and things of that nature. So I'm just going to get my background music playing. And shuffle. My room is college themed, so I have some marching 100 music playing in the background, and then my slides will play. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that and then get downstairs to the cafeteria because we have to pick our students up. So let's get the day started. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on my planning period and I went downstairs because my sissy works at the same school as me. So I went down there to check on her and baby, it's a madhouse down there. So I ended up helping at the front office. Um, so now I'm back in my classroom. It is now 12-12 and my next class starts in eight minutes. It's my theater two class. Um, so far, the day has been daying, okay? Um, my first period class, you know, they did their things, but my second period, oh baby, they did their big one, okay? So I try to tell them I'm not holding any like, you know, preconceived thoughts or anything like that, but oh, I already could tell they're going to give me a run for my money, but I'm ready because I already let them know. Whatever you thought you was gonna come up here doing, please know, right idea, wrong teacher. But overall, so far, it's been a great first day. Um, the cup pro or the cup little game is going pretty well. Um, those that like work together, they kind of figure it out pretty fast. And then I'm explaining to them like their groups. So explaining like the alphas, the kappas, the sigmas, and things like that, the Greek alphabet, letting them understand the difference between sororities, fraternities, and then the group that wins, I've just been giving out some luscious fruit snacks. Um, that's my little prize to the team that wins. So I have two more classes left. I have my theater two class, um, and then I have my last language arts class. So this is gonna be my first year having a class at the end of the day, because last year my class um, they were split in half. So I only had them for 45 minutes and then the other 45, they went to another teacher's class so I could have planning. But now I do not have last planning. Sad face. Um, so now I actually have to worry about these kids getting home and out of the class and down the stairs on time. Um, so we're still hanging in there. It's hot as I don't know what. I don't know if the AC ain't generating, but every class, your girl be sweating. Shout out to my stylist. I'm gonna tag her below. Got my hair done yesterday, so I'm feeling good. And I got my dunks on. Your girl don't wear tennis shoes, y'all, so this is this is a big moment, okay? Um, but yes, we did do the one word project. The idea was that I wanted them to do it on the flags, but 
unfortunately life was life and i was late to work this morning so i didn't get to print these so i had to do them later in the day um so my other classes will do them on the flags but then my one class i just had them to do it on index cards so they have some good words i got prosperous um attitude Ooh, they try to break it down what attitude is supposed to represent or stand for excellence um growth i like that one reliable accountability integrity self-confidence prosper improve focus so they have some good ones on here effort magnanimity mm, give generously and put a stop to petty behavior okay so it was fairly okay. And then I played this game that I saw on TikTok. Um, and it was like, I'm going on a deserted island. And, you know, I want you to come with me. You can only bring one thing. What are you bringing? And then they had to try, try to guess what the rule was. Um, so that was pretty fun uh, doing that with them. So, again, I'm headed into my theater class. And I have this, like, activity where they're supposed to, like, I think I'm going to have them tell about their summer but they have to do every letter of the alphabet or like have a conversation back and forth about their summer, but using the letter of the al alphabet. So because it's theater and some of the kids are in my language arts class, I had to switch up my plans of what I'm going to do. Um, but I'll try to like put my camera back here so I can try to show you guys how that works. I know I try to get a little clip of them doing the little cup game. It's just hard trying not to get their faces and all of that kind of stuff in there. So. I'm going to finish getting myself prepared. I got three minutes to breathe before my theater class comes in. And this one is mixed with sixth, seventh, and eighth, or seventh and eighth, I believe, because it's theater too. So um, yeah, we're gonna prepare our minds for that. And I will talk with you guys at the end of the day. hey guys the day is finally over it is 5 39 and there are still kids that are here okay including your son including my son y'all i am tired with those hot shoes with my shoes on I, i'm trying to do the whole dunks this year y'all my feet are on fire okay i don't know what it is but it ain't working because my feet are on fire okay overall the day was good great. it was great it was good okay um you know how you kind of just identify those kids that need a little extra love and attention i've identified those um but y'all look 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 i'm so excited <laughs> we got mad books we got mad books so i am an apple girl like through and through and this hp life was not the life for me i'm so excited about <laughs> so excited about my macbook so that was a highlight to the end of the day but um yeah today drained me okay that's how i feel mm -mm -mm. today drained me but we made it through the kids are getting home definitely about to get cursed out by a lot of parents but the kids made it. How was your day? Splendid. Splendid. Okay. Well, I did not eat lunch. Um, so that's how the day went. You did not eat lunch. Uh, yeah, I did not eat lunch. So I am ready to pack up my belongings, get out of here, you go find some feed, out of here and, I eat. and go lay down eat. somewhere and prop my feet up. You gonna give me a foot massage? So I'm gonna give you a foot massage and I'm gonna relax and take also, a shower. And also check out those little videos that you made and those pictures. They're kind of sick. 
my classroom videos. My son already like, comment, subscribe if you want more classroom videos. Um, like I said, I wanna try to do more. I know like for me, I wanted more like seeing the teachers actually like teaching and stuff in the classroom. So I'm gonna try to do more of that um, on my video for tomorrow. Cause I think I might do like maybe a first week back to school. Um, but yeah, first day down. Say first day down. First day down. There we go. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Good morning, guys, and welcome to day two of our first week back to school. It is Tuesday, August 15th, and the time is now 7.39. I got here early today, and then my help was needed in the office. So I was making signs, telling the parents where to go to pick or drop their kids off. I was helping to print out attendance lists, and if you watch my setup video, I had spelled one of my words wrong in my wall, so I had to print that this morning. Um, so we're going to do meet the teacher game this morning. I just give them like four little facts about me, but I have them to ask questions that I can answer yes or no to, to see if they can try to guess it, and then I reveal the answer. So we'll do that today. And then I also have this like shoe activity. So this is just the Air Jordan one, but I also have a Converse and I have a Croc, so that way we kind of cover everybody and what their preferences and what they like. Um, so they'll decorate that, design it, customize it on their own. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably play a little game on the board after that if they're not done. And then I want them to kind of explain their shoe and describe who they are to the class. I'm really just trying to build that class community and get them open and talking to one another now because I want to be heavy in the discussion throughout the school year so i am going to try to do more like recording of me like actually up there my greetings and things like that but if i don't charge it to the game okay because you already know yesterday bob took me out they asked me how i'm doing today i'm here <laughs> don't ask me for much more because that's all i got but day two so i'm about to get ready to go downstairs to the cafeteria to get them we'll try to be up here by 50 so I'll probably do this for about four more minutes, make sure everything's set up, put my screen up, all of that great stuff, and then go get them so we can start the day. Day two, we in here. Don't worry, you're not in it. Okay guys, so I am on my planning period, and as I mentioned probably earlier in my video or whatever, I did not make the mistake of going downstairs. Okay, I went downstairs for like two seconds, but it was just because I serve as the current team lead for ELA and social studies. So I had to check in with my team members to make sure that they're able to access our dismissal, whatever system that we're using. So one of my teachers was having some issues. So I had to go talk to my AP to get her assistance. But after that, I grabbed a cookie and I ran right out of there. No extra time. So now I'm back in my classroom. I had to go make copies. Um, I got this activity. I saw somebody do it on TikTok, I think maybe. And then I went and kind of found one that I liked. So there is a teacher on Teachers Pay Teachers. Let me see. So I can make sure I tell you guys um, who I got it from. But, but she has a bundle. And what I love about her bundle is that it is for all, like it covers everyone. So her name on teachers pay teachers is perfectly planned designs and she has this bundle where you can get a jordan air jordan shoe you also get a converse and you also get a croc with the little page for them to create their own gibbets so i really like that because i feel like especially when you're in a school with so much diversity as mine there is something for all of the students so you know, oftentimes it's quick and easy for, especially for me when I'm coming up with things for them to do, it's easy for me to try to choose things that I think are trendy or that I think the kids will like. But then there are some kids that are not interested in those things, right? So I'm a social media girl, I'm a trend girl, um, and sometimes that's just not gonna cut it. So I feel like with this, like, if you're not a Nike or tennis shoe, Vans kind of person, Converse, Crocs, like, with this bundle has something for all of the kids. So. I got that bundle um, so that I could do that little activity. And the kids really enjoyed it. Like they were really excited to design and customize their own shoe. And I love that it has like different writing prompts for them. So I'm probably gonna either 
cut the shoe out or just take the whole paper. I think I might cut the shoe out and I'll probably put it at the top of like some of my places on the wall that I feel like are still empty. That's probably what I'll use to do that. So I haven't done my classroom tour video yet because I wanna fill it in with the class decor, like where they were the one that created the stuff. I wanna put that stuff up and then show you guys what the room looks like. So that's what I'm kinda waiting on. But this is the activity we did today. And then I also created this game. Um, it's a get to know the teacher game. And basically I asked them maybe four or five questions about myself. So it's like they're doing an investigation. There's a new teacher in the land and we need to figure out who she is. And I asked them questions and they get to interrogate me by only asking me questions that get a yes or no response. So they're in teams or in groups already because of their fraternities that I created in the classroom. Um, and so with their fraternity, you have to work together to figure out what questions they're gonna ask me that again warrants a yes or no response. Um, and so they have to make sure that they're paying attention, listening to the questions that the other kids asked. So it allowed me to kind of see like how my kids respond to instruction. I had it on the screen, I said it out loud. So being able to understand so that before we even get into the curriculum, I'm able to assess what might be the best way to share with them what we're doing in the classroom. So it's only day two and there's still so much to learn. Um, but I think I'm going to be effective this planning period. It's 11.52 and my next class will come in at 12.20. So I got about, about a, a good 28 minutes. I would say 30, but maybe like 28 minutes. So I'm gonna try to be productive. I got my accommodations today. So I think I'm gonna create a custom accommodation sheet that's still confidential, but that I can hole punch and put in my teacher planner. So I customized mine. So if you guys would like me to do more of a breakdown, then please feel free to put that in the comment section. But of course I use the happy planner, but I add in my school's like district calendar. Um, and then I add all of my standards. So these are the conventions, progression standards. These are my actual standards. And then I also have like the broke down, like breakdown of my standards. That's all in the front. And then I created my own pages for the week. So I keep the month layout. I haven't really like wrote in it like I normally do crazy, but I keep the month layout and then I add in the pages that I created. So this is my weekly planning sheet that I created that fits for me and my repertoire, my scheduling. So I have Monday through Friday up here in the black and then these boxes that are underneath, they're each of my classes. So I have two advanced classes, one general like language arts class and then my theater two class. So this is for general language arts, this is for my advanced classes and then this is for my theater two classes. So I do most of my general planning here and then because we have to submit detailed lesson plans um, on a document, I type those out and send them and then I also print that and put it in for the week as well so I can make notes, make adjustments. And then I have like a prep to-do list, um, any notes or reminders. This is any meetings that I have for the week and this is events. So this is my weekly layout that I add on the inside. Um, and then I use the checklist that's in the back for my economy system. So if you would like for me to break that down, let me know in the comment section, but I'm probably gonna create my accommodation sheet to keep in my planner for when I'm planning out my activities that whole thing and then i finally i coach cheerleading so i finally got the schedule um so that i can go in and update all of the games and start preparing for tryouts and parent meeting and all of that kind of stuff so i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna be productive and um i'm definitely going to record well no next class is my theater class my last of the class of the day i'm going to record me actually like instructing and getting, giving the directions and doing the activities and all of that kind of stuff. That's a promise. It's going to happen. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Check back in. Um, my next class is theater. Take them to lunch. And then my last period of the day, hopefully dismissal goes smoother than it did yesterday because your girl was stressing and I can't take it again. Two days in a row. Can't run it back. So um, let's finish out the day strong. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to day three of the first week back to school. So I'm on my planning period and the day is going good, y'all. My kids are doing a goal setting activity. Um, this time I made sure to record myself giving the instructions and all of that. Um, but I did the self-evaluation worksheet first. 
So this was the self-evaluation. And then after that, then they did this goal setting like workbook. My printer was mad, so it flipped upside down. But it helps them to like break down the goal and I really teach them about like goal setting, where smart goals, breaking it down and having them to choose one goal they wanna focus on. And then I elevated the activity by having them choose three accountability partners. So one in the classroom, Sorry, y'all. One in the classroom, one somewhere in the school, and then they have to have one person at home. It could be an older sibling or a parent or adult that is in the home, um, but they have to tell them what their goal is and then get them to sign to agree to be their accountability partner. So they really received the activity and it went pretty well. Um, so that's what we did in my first two periods. Now I'm on my planning. Y'all, one of my babies, so we, I like, I know her mom, all of that kind of stuff before y'all try to get on me, but she made me lunch. So her mom had posted about making her lunch and realizing that she did not grab the bread. And so I had told her to pack me lunch too. And she brought me lunch. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm about to devour it on this planning period while I figure out what I'm gonna do in my theater two class. I don't necessarily want to start teaching yet because schedules are getting ready to get shifted around and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and so I'm trying to hold off as long as I can. Uh, they haven't gotten any of their devices yet. So just a lot of things that at this point should have been done that have not been done already. So I'm trying to wait until those things happen before I actually start going into my standards and curriculum. So I'm gonna figure out what we're going to do in our theater class. And then, um, yeah, by that time, it should be time for them to come in here because it's just about a good 45 minutes. So um, that's all. But. I'm proud of myself going strong and recording every day. So we'll check back in later and tell how the rest of the day went. All right, bye guys. Okay, so we're gonna look at setting a goal. Just one, and that's the one I want us to focus on for the year, okay? So the book tells you about what goals is and they break down the acronym of goal to be the G is the guts of your goal, it's the main part of the goal, the O is obstacles, your A is your action steps, and L is looking forward or looking ahead. What happens once I achieve that thing? Hey guys. So it is the end of the day, y'all. Today was a long day, okay? This is my niece, Layana. Hi. <laughs> um, I don't even have no words for last period because that period I about quit 10 times. I think the kids are getting acclimated. Now they're like, let's see what we could try. Um, so yeah, it was a trying day, but we made it to the end. We are currently in aftercare. And so Leona had to come visit me in the middle school classroom. Isn't that right? Yeah. Show them your dance moves you was doing. Mm, mm. <laughs> so we are about to call it a day. It is currently almost about 5 30 about three minutes to 5 30 so we're getting ready to take our middle schoolers down to the cafeteria but i wanted to come in here and close out you guys saw my lesson all those great things so i'm glad i was able to do my video uh oh they catching me recording so i will talk to you guys tomorrow we'll have day four and keep this day thing going i'm screaming <laughs> Good morning guys so it is thursday august the 17th and um i'm here this morning about to get ready to set up for the day i need to use my laptop to see if the website that i need is blocked because of course they block everything so i'm about to get ready to get everything set up because i have to be in the cafeteria at 7 30 and it is already 7 15. so I have a lot to do, short period of time. I have my logo polo on, so that's why I got my hands right here, which y'all know is hard for me because I talk with my hands. But we're gonna go along the day again today. Um, and then there's one more day before we end the week. Is it summer already? I just, just asking, just, just inquiring. But I will check back in with you guys later and we'll see how today, today goes because yesterday was rough. Okay, so wish me luck.
morning, guys. I made it to Friday. It is Friday, August the 18th. And I made it to the end. I didn't come back yesterday because I had a cheer coaches meeting after school. Well, coaches meeting, and I had to go for cheer. And so I didn't get a chance. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't get a chance to go or to come back and record anything because your girl was ready to go, okay? I was ready to get out of here. And I rearranged my desk um, just because the groups wasn't giving groups like I wanted it to give groups. Now, I still have two desks, um, but they have not adjusted them yet. So they are still at the front of the class. Um, but it's really only my first period where we're like bunched up in here. So yeah, I'm gonna try to see when I go downstairs if I can get somebody to come up before first period starts to go ahead and adjust these desks. Um, but right now I need to finish my PowerPoint for my lesson today. So it's 7.10, I got here at seven o'clock. So by the time I got the boys to the cafeteria, said my hellos and signed in and came upstairs, it was 7.07. .07. So now I'm set up um and it's 7 10 so i got about a good 20 minutes to finish this powerpoint or this presentation because i use canva um so i got about 20 minutes to finish my presentation where i will actually start going over my procedures and things like that for the classroom so it's my last free day before we actually dive into our curriculum um and then after that it's gonna be show time so last day y'all I recorded every day and I made it. <sighs> so proud of myself. But definitely this week gave me a lot of different videos that I already know I want to record. Um, and the rest of the school year, outside of a few like, you know, day in the life or come to work with me, blah, blah, blah. A lot of it is going to just be talking, especially for those that are maybe new in secondary education or aspiring to go into secondary education that may play this years from now. Um, it's still things that I feel should be a topic of discussion. So I'm excited, but time to stop talking, talking. It is officially 710 now, now, now. Let me get to work. <laughs> Too. Oh no, I, I didn't. You were filming? I already got my one YouTube video. Ronnie was singing in the hallway. <laughs> All right. But I definitely want to get more like my cheers that I got in my like on my roster. It's my a lot more crowd participation. Like getting the crowd yelling, getting the crowd, like, yeah. you know, come on, Stingray fans, let's hear it, blah blah blah. So 